Item number SCP-766. Index, human-shaped anomaly in space. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Due to SCP-766's immobile nature, Site-362 has been built around it. Operated by Dummy Corporation in Indonesia. SCP-766 is stored in a locked room behind the site's storage room. A wooden crate has been lowered over it, which is fastened to a cleat on the floor by a combination lock. Though classified as safe, precautions should be taken when interacting with SCP-766. Leather gloves and plexiglass visors are recommended for handling and are stored on site. Description SCP-766 is a human-shaped anomaly in space that matter cannot pass through, making it, in effect, an invisible statue of a person. Plaster applied to the anomaly has allowed researchers to study its shape. It is in the shape of a perfectly anatomically correct nude woman in her late thirties, with features consistent with the native population of the island. It is running mid-stride and looking behind, up and to the left. The right hand forms a fist with the fingers leaving a hollow, cylindrical opening, suggesting that it once held an implement of some sort. A band on the left shoulder is indented in a way that the strap of a satchel might cause. SCP-766's facial expression appears both exhausted and startled. SCP-766 was once known to the local population as the woman bearing a tree. A Santalum album had grown around it, suggesting its shape. It had been considered a local botanical oddity until a forest fire in 19, which destroyed the tree and left ash resting atop SCP-766, making it appear that the debris was floating. Foundation agents intervened, sequestering it. SCP-766 does not appear to actually be constructed from any sort of material. X-rays do not show its form, and tests to determine conductivity have returned no results. Sonar remains the sole effective imaging technique. Attempts to obtain a sample of SCP-766 using diamond-tipped drills resulted in broken machinery. All elements of SCP-766 are solid and immobile. This extends to its hair, and agents should be mindful to avoid puncture wounds. The use of on-site safety equipment, though not mandatory, is strongly recommended. Attempts to relocate SCP-766 have proven ineffective. The use of bulldozers and other heavy machinery to move it has been attempted. To no avail. Addendum 766-01. Time and resources providing. Studies using the services of SCP-182 or any other mediums at the Foundation's disposal could provide fruitful results. Though other tests have turned up nothing, perhaps an intellect can be sensed using the talents of some of our other SCPs. Doctor. Request denied pending unforeseen allowances in extra resources.